Let me call you back. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Huh? Raise the volume. Online? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh huh. Oh, what the fuck? Can you hear me or not? Yes. Raise the volume. I did. Where's Jay? Where the hell's Jay? What? Hey, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, much better. Okay. Uh huh. Right. Okay. G- good. Yeah. Good. Good. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh-huh. I- I'm trying to record here. I got. I'm trying to record, and you keep calling in. All right. Okay. Number eleven. The Jerky Boy Show with Johnny Brennan is brought to you by AdamandEve.com, America's most trusted source for Adele products. For a limited time, you'll get 50% off just about any item. When you select your item, you'll also receive three free adult DVDs plus an extra gift. And to top it off, they'll even throw in free discreet shipping on your entire order. Just use offer code SIDESHOW at adamandeve.com. The Jerky Boy Show with Johnny Brennan is also brought to you by Flygrip. Do you have an iPhone, Android, or any smartphone? Well, if you do, here is the most innovative accessory for your smartphone. It's called Flygrip. There's nothing out there like it. Flygrip attaches to the back of your phone or phone case and gives you the ability of one-handing your phone with ease. No more juggling. Hold your phone casually with Flygrip. Flygrip even fits those really big Android phones. Flygrip makes using your smartphone easier. For more information, check out flygrip.com and order yours today. Use promo code JERKY and get free shipping. For a limited time, get a free phone case with your order at flygrip.com. Hey, Johnny. It's uh, Nick C. from the Cornwall, New Windsor area in New York. I've been listening to your show for, uh, you know, since the beginning of it, and I'm really pleased to hear that you're getting back in the swing of things, and it's good to hear, hear uh, you know, some of the calls and stuff from, you know, Blast from the Past. It really is. You know, I, you know, I wasn't, you know, that, you know, that far back. You know, I was born that far back to the point where, you know, I heard everything from the beginning. But, you know, I'm a new generation Director Boys listener, and, you know, I'm very pleased to hear that, you know, you know, the calls are being heard and everybody is still listening, and that's really a great thing. And, you know... One of my favorite calls of all time would have to be Uncle Freddy. I mean, like, it was just amazing. Just, it was phenomenal hearing just the guy's reaction. He's like, oh, this is Uncle Fred. And he's like, Uncle Freddy. Uncle Freddy's not there. Yeah, he said Uncle Freddy died. He goes, Uncle Freddy died? Oh, my goodness. It was, like, the funniest thing I ever heard. And then when Martha was crying in the background, it was just hilarious. You know, I listened to it on the bus. I got a very long bus ride. And, you know, uh, I can't help but to just burst out in laughter. And everybody just looks at me so, like I'm a weirdo or something like that. And I just can't help it. And then people are like, what are you listening to, man? And I'll just be like, listen to this. And then they start bursting out laughing. And, you know, it's great. You know, I've been spreading the word. And, you know, I've been trying to, you know, get the word out there and everything. And maybe you have some new listeners. And, um, and you know, I, I, was, uh, I was wondering if maybe you could play Uncle Freddy, you know, a little bit. You know, I'm sure everybody would enjoy that and bring people back. You know, it, it would be great. And, uh, you know, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, see you later. All right. Bye. Thanks. Hello there. Yeah, how you doing? This is Kissel. What time are you people going to come over and fix my sink? I don't know. Who, who, who do you want? I don't know. I called you guys about uh, four hours ago to come fix my sink. It's all, all the water's all over the place. Nah, you didn't call here. Up. Uh, of course I called you. This is Kissel. Where are you, where are you located at? I'm 24 Crescent Street. Oh, you're the one on Crescent Street? Yeah, that's right. What's taking you guys? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. I told you I'd be there. Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. I told you I'd be there Wednesday. No, you said Monday. I said Wednesday. Oh, now you calling me a liar? Wait, hold it. Maybe my son called. Nah, I don't know. Wait, hold it for a minute. Anthony. Yes, hello? 
Yeah. Hi. This is uh, this is uh, Frank's son. What? It's Frank's son. Yeah. I I called you last week. I was the guy. Yeah, but I don't think I made any kind of an appointment or anything. Because as a matter of fact, I think if I recall correctly, I think I gave you a price or something. You said you'd come back to me. Yeah. Back to me. Are you Freddy? Are you Freddy? No, I'm not Freddy. Yeah, Uncle Freddy. What? Uncle Freddy. Uncle Fred? Yeah. Who? You. No. Uncle Freddy's not there. Look, there's no Uncle Fred here, and I think I think you're talking to the wrong party. No, no. Here, talk to my father. What? Uncle Freddy didn't die. He said Uncle Freddy died. Uncle Freddy died? Oh, my goodness. Martha, Uncle Freddy died. <laughs> trouble now. I'm gonna come there and I'm gonna break your fucking leg. You killed Uncle Freddy. They killed Uncle Freddy. They killed him. You motherfucker. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, yeah. Who said anything? Do you, do you know what you're talking about? Hello? Yeah. Well, well what, is, what is wrong with you? You, where's Uncle Freddy? Who the hell knows Uncle Freddy? You ain't, you got the wrong party, I think, buddy. You, uh, you killed Uncle, now you want to kill me, right? You want to kill, you got the wrong party. You want to kill me now? Yeah. This is Kissel. I don't know no Kissel. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. It's the Jerky Boy Show with Johnny Brennan. Tonight, Johnny's guests include a milky liquor, a sizzle chest, a barrel ass, and one slap happy prick. And now, the man who proved that butterballs aren't just for Thanksgiving anymore, here's Johnny. All right, thanks, Jack, you fucking milky liquor. <laughs> Man, what the 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 greatest line! I love that classic, the classic Uncle Freddy from Jerky Boys One. I mean, the greatest line in that was is that guy when he's flipping out. He goes, hey, "What is what is wrong with you? You know who the hell who the hell knows Uncle Freddy? I th- I think you got the wrong party, buddy. That's fuck that fucking cracks me up when he fucking finally he flips out. But anyway, that that goes out to uh, Nick C and the boys. Nice nice job, Nick. That's a classic. That's you know off Jerky Boys One, man. That's you know you're talking almost thirty years ago. But uh, that that's that's an all time favorite, and it's actually mixed into a great uh, dance mix that uh, that came out back in uh, yeah I think it was the early nineties. Yeah, and that guy's voice, man, it's like something from you know from like it sounds like it's right off the uh, the honeymooner show or something. That guy's got a classic old you know New York accent, the way he talks and everything. It's just it's perfect, and uh, you know. But um, yeah, that's uh, Kamal, man. That that was a real big home run for uh, you know, and and on the on that cut. Uh, doing uh the the son the guy playing the son is a buddy of ours he's a, a actually a very a, a great drummer uh excellent drummer uh his name is Anthony and uh so he um he was on that cut with Kamal and he played the the kid and and decided to take it in a, in a wacky direction which i you know really made the the call explode when he starts screaming and yelling that uncle freddy was killed somebody killed uncle freddy and uh just a classic man classic and sometimes that's just how it went down you know one minute you're jamming you're you know you're, you're putting together some music you know jerking around in the studio playing and whatnot and next one you say hey man you know let's bang out a call or two and then you know that that you know there came uncle freddy man Great, great cutoff, uh, Jerky Boys 1. All right, so thanks again, Nick C. and the boys. Great suggestion, and I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure the listeners are really happy to hear that one because it uh, really tickles everybody in the old gut there. All right there, Chief. Now, let's move on. Yeah, so uh, I think it was, um, I think show number eight or number nine, I'm not sure, where I started to tell you guys about the, uh, the whole trilogy with the flower lady. And I got completely fucking sidetracked. I don't know what the hell. I must have been, uh, I don't know, must have been a little bit shit-faced or something. I, I totally got sidetracked. I don't know what the hell, you know, but I forgot. And I was going to play one. I think, it was, I think it was eight when I introduced the first part of The Flower Lady. And I was going to play a little bit of the next part of The Flower Lady and nine and, and whatever. 
But I forgot, so I'm going to play you guys the second part of The Flower Lady in, uh, on this show, and um, so it's not too far apart, and you can you know, just skip back to the, you know, on iTunes, you can skip back and grab the other show and, and, and check it out, because you definitely want to hear the parts, like, and you'll be able to, to kind of digest them, because it's fucking insane. The Flower Lady uh, cut is just, it's not, it's not even something I could set up, because it's so freaking crazy. But um, I'll just say quickly, um, you know, the, our manager at the time, Harry, was getting married, and this woman was going to do his floral arrangement, you know, for his wedding. And uh, I had the place, his, his apartment in Manhattan on 87th Street on the west side. And it was really cool. But, you know, all day we, we were expecting calls coming in, you know. So and this this we weren't expecting this. This was, I think, a family member or somebody that knew somebody. And, and this woman was supposed to do his wedding. So um, she just inadvertently called in at the wrong time when, uh, you know, we just uh, sitting around the apartment waiting to take incoming calls. So um, she really, really called at the wrong fucking time, didn't she? So here's the uh, second part of the Flower Lady trilogy off of the Jerky Tapes. Um, check it out. Yes. Hi, this is Diane F***ing calling from Mr. Gets Off, please. Uh, who is this? This is Diane F***ing calling from United Floral Design. Yes. Um, Mr. Gets off there, please. I was supposed to call at 2 o'clock, but I thought... Okay, well, are you... Then you're early, and that's not very nice. No, sir, I wasn't trying to be rude. I, I thought... Yeah, I but you're a little early, and that is very presumptuous on your part. No, it's not presumptuous. I'm calling. If he's not there, I'll call back at Okay, 2 o'clock. well, I, I don't I know... I have a centerpiece. He had asked me to do... Uh-huh, okay. I have, um... I talked to him, and I have Angelica for inspiration centerpiece, and he had told me... Well, can I ask you, what is this centerpiece for? It's for the wedding. I had talked to Mr. Getz. Who is this, please? My name is Jack. It's for the wedding. Jack, did I speak to you on Friday of last week? No, you did not. It's what, what... I think, you know, I think I did, and if you're fiddling with me again, I'm not... This is, this is silliness again. I told you. Listen I to me. To, you don't lie to me. Who are you I'm, yelling at? I'm yelling at you. I'm, yeah. I'm Harry's you partner. You're the person, no, you tell you. Hello? Yes, hello. Ma'am, okay, if we can just calm down. I'm Harry's partner. Nobody's fiddling here. And what wedding are you talking about? I am calling about Mr. Getzoff's wedding. I asked to speak to him. Well don't, the don't, fiance. well, don't you think I would know about his wedding? I'm his partner. I mean, what's the story? I don't understand partner. I spoke to the fiancé. His fiancé. I'm his partner. I'm his lover. I don't understand. No. You, you're not getting with this. You and the other fellow on Friday. Ma'am. You're not doing this again, and I don't appreciate it. Again, I told you, I'm not, do you know that I lost a customer on Friday because of you? Uh, I, 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 this, and whoever that other fellow on the phone was. You think this is funny? Do you, you tell me that you're his partner? I know for a fact that Mr. Gets off as a fiance. Well, then there's something that I don't know here. This is a surprise to me. I'm his partner. I'm his lover for three years now. You don't joke with me. Put Mr. Gets off on the phone. I don't find this funny. Mr. Don't Get tell me on Friday when I speak to you that you have a centerpiece and you cut out a piece of wood in the middle of the floor. That's not funny. Miss, listen to me. I had the purpley. I had everything for him. And you're joking with me. And it's not funny. Nobody's joking here. Harry okay. Gets off. Hello. Yes, this is Jack. I need to speak to Mr. Getzoff now, okay? Not you, Jack. Okay, listen to me. Mr. Getzoff just went out to buy a bottle of schmaltz. He'll be back in a, in a moment. You can speak to him. He cut a hole in... You're using words now. You're using words like schmaltz. You think I don't know what you're doing with the word schmaltz? You think I don't know what that's a joke? Ma'am, he loves schmaltz. Is there something wrong with that? I don't buy a bottle of schmaltz. Don't fill with me again with... Harry you. makes his own schmaltz, but he went out to buy it from a friend. Harry makes p perhaps the best schmaltz I've ever had. Listen to me. He cut a hole in the floor, and he's building a volcano. Okay? Well, you listen to me. Okay, I spoke to Mr. Getzloff. We had an agreement. I said I was going to get to him a centerpiece. Okay? Not for the floor, for the table, for the reception, and for the ceremony, and for the cocktail hour. Okay. okay? You fell on the and I don't find it funny. Harry is an artist, and you obviously don't know that. He Excuse me, I am an artist. This is my business, okay? I have flowers, beautiful flowers. I've had a centerpiece in the fridge. It's going to wilt. And you are not being funny. Nobody's trying to be funny, ma'am. You tell me I... he goes out for a bottle of schmaltz. You don't kid with me like that. You know, I just don't believe the way you're yelling at me. I don't, I don't I am very really angry with you. You did this to, on Friday to me. You think I don't understand that. Listen. 
I'm his partner. I live here. What would you like me to do? I mean, I don't understand. Let me speak to the fiancé. Where? Where is she? I want the number. And furthermore, I think that... I don't like, I don't like your people. You and this other one. I, I can't deal with you. I want to speak to the fiancé. I don't know why you're going... I don't understand, quite frankly, why I couldn't speak to the fiancé directly. I find that very suspicious. Well, in... The groom doesn't usually do the flowers. Okay, well, in order to speak to his fiancé... She has said that she has bridesmaids in blue. Well, this is all a surprise. I to know this. This is a surprise to me because she is a roommate here, and I don't know where he gets off calling her his bride-to-be. We have been lovers for three years, and I don't know what he's doing. I want to get involved this is ridiculous. In the situation, this is ridiculous. The living situation, you people are giving me a hard time. Okay, and listen. I want to speak to Mr. Gets Off now. Okay? Uh, I, I will have him call you. Like two. If it means calling back at two, I will do that. Okay? I, I have a good mind to slap you across your face. Me here. You, what do you expect me to do with this? That just the way you're screaming at me, I could slap you silly. Yes, I am screaming at you, because you did this to me on Friday. I was told this would not happen again with the crossed wires, and you're doing it again. I mean, just yes. I mean, just the yelling and stuff. I've never heard anything like it. I have a good mind to just lick you down. It's crazy. Oh, you're threatening me now. Uh, Jack, I have a business, okay? But apparently you don't understand that, because every time I call, you're at home. Well, why are you I yelling at me? Why you're at home, first of all. Because, because Harry home. pays for me to stay home. I don't have to work. I'm his mother. You know what? Harry is going to pay for me to do the wedding. And if you people don't stop, I am not going to do the wedding. I need to get the fiancé's number now. Harry fell asleep last night drunk and he fell behind the bed. Do you want any more? I mean, is that what you want in our heart and soul? He fell asleep drunk behind the bed. He's yes, getting you married. You nonsense with me. <laughs> you stop this. He's getting married, he said. He's breaking my heart. I don't understand. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to me, please. Listen to me. Will you listen to me? Listen to me. 
to me. And my associate. He said, the super said, they're cutting a big hole in the floor. They've already made a volcano. And that when you come in with the flowers, Harry's supposed to shove you into the volcano. This is all I understand. This is not funny. Hello. You know you're joking now, and you give me the number of the fiancé. Ma'am, there is no joke here. According to Harry... This is not funny. According... Okay, no. Listen. This is silliness. You're silly. Ma'am, according... I'm very angry. According to Harry, you were going to come in with the floral arrangement... According to Harry, nothing. Okay, please listen. With the floral arrangement and partial ownership of a deli with your husband, and they were going to shove you into the volcano. That's all I know. Wait, Charlie, what are you talking about with a deli? The Second Avenue Deli. The Star Deli or something? I have nothing to do. I have no association. Neither does my husband. Okay. Well, then, okay. Then he's mistaken. Jack, do you understand what is going on? I don't think you understand the severity. Well, then you're yelling at me. I don't understand. I am yelling at you because I'll tell you why. He worked his ass off. You were on Friday. You put me through this, and now you're doing it again. Listen. And I was told from Taylor that this would not happen. Listen. Harry worked his ass off to prepare this volcano for you. He worked so hard on it. You don't do this. This is not funny. Ma'am. never discussed a volcano. That is not funny. He said that you asked him to put a volcano in the center of the room. That's all I know. And you were going to make sacrificial uh, things, offerings. Do I need to call back at 2 o'clock? Well, have it pick up the phone at 2 o'clock. Okay, I, if you want to try at 2 o'clock, he went out to get some salves and bombs and ligaments. Okay, you're joking with me. No, I am not. First you tell me it's the other. Now you tell me, where is he? He'll be back in a little while. At 2 o'clock? I said I will call back at 2 o'clock. Okay, and we're trying to get... I'm sorry for the confusion. What time is it now? It's approximately 2 well, o'clock. What time is it now? It's about 2 o'clock. But then I call you now. Pardon me? If it's 2 o'clock, then I'll call you now. Okay, or you can call a little later, whatever you wish. Hold on, please. Is your husband there or something I can speak to? You're not speaking to my husband. Because you're yelling at me like crazy. Oh, you think I'm yelling? If I put my husband on the phone, then you're going to hear some yelling. But why are you angry with us? I'm what? angry because you know that you spilled around with me on Friday. What have you're we done? You're doing it again. I spoke to this woman. I set up a time to call. And you people are... I'm so angry right now. If I find out that that bitch Harry's cheating on me, I will break his legs. You That's find out what you need to find out. I'm calling you back, and if I don't speak to get up. At 2 o'clock, this is fun, fun, awesome. Oh, my God. Oh. Why are you yelling at me like that? I am yelling at you because you are giving me the rest. What have I ever done to you? Don't cry with me. Don't joke. Oh, but I've never done anything to you. You're doing something to me. It's going to be on Friday. Oh, you're yelling at me like I'm a fool. Put me on the phone back on the phone. You're yelling at me like I'm a fool. I'm calling back at 2 o'clock, and I'm calling for get up. You're yelling at me as if I were a... Testing one two. <laughs> oh man, the classic flower lady. I mean, did I tell you, man? Is it, it's 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 off. The, it's it's just off the hook, man. It's crazy. It's it's it's. Wait do you hear? Um, wait do you hear the third part, man? It just it just keeps escalating, and that's why, man. That's why I had to put it all on uh one on one record. So it's on the Jerky tapes, and you could check you know check it out at thejerkyboys.com. So it's yeah, it's on the Jerky tapes, and it's in it's in three parts for a reason, man. But it had to all go together. So that's why I thought it'd be kind of cool, you know, and so I, I hope I, you know, again, don't get, I won't get si sidetracked this time and I'll make sure to put uh, the third part of the trilogy, the uh, flower lady uh, in the, uh, the next podcast, next week's podcast. But um, did I tell you, man, is it, it's just, you know, fucking volcano and she's supposed to come in with the fucking floral arrangement and Harry's going to shove her down into the fucking volcano and, and, and she's going to put her fucking husband on. I mean, it's just, it just fucking, it's, it's crazy shit. I love when I hit her with that line that she's going to come in. She's supposed to have the floral arrangement and partial ownership of a deli. And then she's like, what, what are you, what the hell are you talking about a deli? I've got nothing to do with a deli. And she like legally, she tries to clear her husband too. And neither does my husband. <laughs> yeah. So as you can imagine, Harry, uh, he had a real rough time. You know, there's only been a few, a handful of clearances that were, you know, this is kind of cool stuff, all, you know, behind the scenes stuff that most people don't get a chance to, you know, to, to hear or hear about. But uh, this particular uh, obviously, I mean, goes without saying, took a long time. Harry was usually very successful, like 99%, you know, very nice personality on Harry. He could go out and charm people. And again, sometimes a donation to a favorite charity or, you know, whatever. But most people, most, I'd say a good 90% of the people would just do it for nothing. 
But then every now and again, you'd have like this flower lady was a holdout, and she was, uh, as you can imagine, she was at, at it. She was like, no fucking way. Didn't want to have anything to do, no part of it. But uh, so, yeah, it cost a few bucks, that's for sure. Um, but it was just, we couldn't not have it in the can. So it, it was definitely worth it. But that's just a little side note there to let you know about uh, Harry and his little fucking, uh, his little outings. Uh, yes, uh, maybe I have the wrong number, but uh, my name is Hugh, and um, I live here in Indianapolis, and I I went to the, the Alcatraz, the gay bar downtown, and I see this number on the, in the, uh, on the bathroom, and it says for a really good jerk. Uh, so I'm, I'm sort of, sort of confused, but, uh... See that? Look at that shit. What a guy. See, that's what I'm talking about now. You see? You call into the number, and you throw... Now that guy did a perfect little, you know, what is it, 20, 20, 30 seconds there, and he's, you know, got a nice little thing going on with the, the accent, and that, that, this, these are ways, you know, uh, fans calling in to the number, it's, uh, you know... 718-878-5668. 718-878-5668. And that's what I said. You could throw throw something like that together, a little, you know, 15, 20, 30 seconds, you know, skit, little uh, funny little idea. And, you know, I'll just, at any point in the show, it doesn't matter where the fuck I throw it, right? You throw it up there. Go on, show, put it up there, throw it up. And next thing you know, it's on the show because it's it's got a nice little nice little ring to it. So anybody can do it. So just, uh, again, 718-878-5668. Call in and put yourself a little skit together or even, you know, uh, got a great um, from a fan that said, why don't, we, why don't you have like a, a contest where, you know, you got uh, people calling in, which I think is a great idea. And so if you want to call in and see, you know, do Frank, like, but got to keep it short, like keep it like, to, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, uh, a little routine or a little bit, or even if it's one of the jerky boys bits where you're actually doing Sal or Frank or Jack, Pico, big old badass Bob, Tarbosh, you know, any of the characters, and uh, let's see how good you do, and we'll throw it up there so everybody can hear it, you fucking wacky prick. Yeah, so yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great idea, and we'll get a lot of, uh, we'll probably get a lot of good ones too. So yeah, Colin doing, uh, doing the characters. Any of the characters, even some of the obscure characters like Rosine, you know, stuff like that, you know, and um, try to do it as good as you can. You know, hopefully, you know, it gets, and you don't have to do any phone calls or anything. Just do some of the lines or you do some of the long lines where Sal's talking about his shoes or his glasses or Frank. Frank said, I'll see you tomorrow with my tools, fuck face. You know, but you go on and on. You try to get it, like I said, 20, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. And we're going to we're gonna, I'm going to start putting them up on the show. All right, there, nutty. Yeah, and you know, too, uh, speaking about Anthony from the skit right up in the front of the show, the Uncle Freddy skit, I, I remember I told you, Anthony, the, the guy who played the little kid in the skit where he starts screaming his head off, Uncle Freddy died, you know, I tell you, he was a great drummer, and funny enough, too, mentioning drummers, my daughter is, a, is an ass-kicking drummer, and you, you could check her out on uh, um, YouTube. Yeah, you just go to YouTube and you put in Victoria Brennan, and you see, it's pretty cool, she, she did a Kiss show in the seventh grade. Uh, where she was, you know, obviously Peter Chris, and she was, you know, the only one really playing her instrument. But, you know, the other girls were all made up, and they were all, you know, make believe. But uh, Victoria's there, and you could also check her out when she was a little girl a- in a talent show at her school. Um, she really rocked, man. So yeah, check her out. But um, hope you guys like the show this week. I didn't get a call, and because uh, you know, I just figured I wanted to get the flower lady in and and stuff like that. So we'll have a we'll have another guest uh, a call in on the show next week. And, um, but as far as that goes, you know, sometimes we've got a lot of good material here. So, you know, it, you know, if I can get it done, we get it done. If not, then no big deal, you know, but we, I like to have the callers in because we get a lot of good feedback on having people on the show. So, <clears throat> and you know, we'll do that. We'll start having some, uh, maybe some celebrities on too. You know, you never know. What, what do you, who, who, who knows better, right? All right. So don't forget, go check out the jerkyboys.com. Got some, uh, cool stuff there, you know, where I, uh, personalize uh things for your family members birthdays you know whatever you want nice nice stuff charlie go take a look the jerkyboys.com and don't forget to check me out at facebook at uh jerky boys johnny and um also twitter at jerky boys johnny all right man so um men and women i will see you uh next week all right there slap happy so have a great week and an even better weekend Go Giants!